two radiant scores, one composed by an overworked Mozart, the other by a relaxed Brahms, highlight this CSO program, conducted by Herbert Blomstedt. After struggling for more than 15 years to finish his first symphony, Brahms wrote the Symphony No. 2 with relative ease. He composed it in the summer of 1877, while relaxing in Portschach, a lakeside resort in the hills of southern Austria. While staying in the housekeeper's quarters of a local castle, he found inspiration in the mountain vistas, fine cuisine, and daily swims at dawn. That fall, Brahms sent the first movement to Clara Schumann, who correctly predicted that the new symphony would be more popular than his first symphony. At its Vienna premiere in December, the third movement was immediately repeated. The D major symphony opens with a three-note motif in the low strings that develops into themes both tender and grand. A mellow beauty dominates the second movement, while the third has an easy rustic character. The robust finale ends in a blaze of trombone chords. While Brahms thrived on tranquility, Mozart took time away from an already hectic opera schedule to write the Piano Concerto No. 23. He was 30 and no longer the brash young upstart from Salzburg. But he was confident that he could seduce the savvy Viennese public with something fresh and imaginative. The concerto has a sunny character, typical of his works in A major, while the use of the clarinets and other woodwinds adds a certain wistfulness. The central adagio features a languorous Siciliano rhythm, while the finale bursts with sublime melodies. Making his CSO debut in this program is French pianist Bertrand Chamaillou.